3D technology is here with us. We're aware of it in the movie theaters, it's now available on TV, and it's also being implemented into the classroom. Uh, 3D is being used to help teach our kids, and there are several issues that come up with 3D in the classroom. First of all, we don't need to be concerned about harm or damage being caused to the eyes, but we actually refer to the three Ds of 3D. Uh, and one of the Ds is that you don't see the depth, Another of the D's is that you'll experience eye discomfort of some sort. And a third one is dizziness. Now, we need to be aware of these, and if your child is experiencing any of these, that is, they're not seeing depth, they're getting eye discomfort, or they're getting dizzy by, by watching 3D, we need to be aware of it, and that actually is a sign that they should have their eyes examined because there's probably an underlying vision disorder that is causing those problems and that underlying vision disorder is also disrupting their learning in the classroom. So 3D in many respects is like a screening mechanism for vision problems and we should be aware of it. Also, lots of computers are being used in the classroom and computers as we know are particularly demanding on the eyes and we should be sensitive to our kids experiencing problems in front of computers and we should also suggest the 20-20-20 rule both for us adults and for the kids. Every 20 minutes take 20 seconds and look at least 20 feet away from yourself. This allows your eyes to relax, the eye muscles are able to relax, and also it's a good opportunity to blink frequently because when we view computers a lot, we decrease our blinking and our eyes tend to dry out. Now the American Optometric Association has lots of guidelines on the use of computers and also on the use of 3D in the classroom especially. So you can obtain more information by visiting www.aoa.org or www.3dihealth.org. Thank you.